Alright, we've heard lots of mentions of Michelle McGowan, so let's let her come up and speak. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And it is such a privilege to be here with all of you and with our congressman and our secretary of state and our lieutenant governor, our town council members, school committee members, so many representatives of our community here supporting this community, and I appreciate being invited to be a part of that. Um, one of the things that I'm really excited about, I, I was thinking about today, this moment where we are here with masks off in more than one way. <laughs> today we get to show who we truly are. Uh, I was at a high school graduation last night, and the senior vice, vice president, Megan Lahane, she talked a little bit about power moves, and I have to tell you, that kind of resonated with me. She was talking about how we can make power moves in every step of our lives. Every day, we can take a little moment and take a power move. And a power move can be pretty much anything. I was really struck by that phrase. Every break, um, excuse me, every step we take. It might be applying for the dream job, but it could also be getting up and singing in front of a crowd. It might be asking someone out on a date. It might be choosing happiness. It might be just to see the, deciding to see the silver lining. And I see embracing your true self as the ultimate power move. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. It's such an honor to be surrounded by friends making their own power moves every day. Your strength and resilience has not gone unrecognized. Creating this space to celebrate who we are, this is a power move. I want to shout out today to the organizers who are here, who organized all of this to bring us all together and show this community what we're all about. So thank you for bringing this back to us. So today, I'm here as a mother, a sister, an aunt, a friend, and an ally. I, just, I was going to plan to read just a very quick poem about being an ally. This is called Being an Ally, author unknown. You and I, we meet as strangers, each carrying a mystery with us. I cannot say who you are. I may never know you completely, but I trust that you are a person in your own right, possessed of a beauty and value that are the Earth's richest treasures. So I make this promise to you. I will impose no identities upon you, but will invite you to become yourself without shame or fear. I will hold open a space for you in the world and support your right to fill it with authentic vocation and purpose. For as long as your search takes, you have my loyalty. Thank you so much for inviting me today. And